Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. All right, y'all. I got some conversation for you today. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, I want you to know that we all, all, all go through our challenges, and I'm sure y'all know that. And one of the biggest challenges is when you're dealing with uh, elderly parents. But one day when y'all get my age, you know, and, you, and if you're blessed and your parents are still alive, no matter what the circumstances, you know, you're probably going to be a jurid or, uh, especially if you if you um, if you black, you're going to have the responsibility of dealing with them, uh, figuring out, you know, what you know what's going to happen when I make them as comfortable as possible, and hopefully you've had the kind of um, a situation where, you know, all your siblings, if you have any, will kind of help you out and make you through a transition, and you won't have to go through the same kind of craziness that I'm going through right now, okay? So let's just get to the point. I have, oh my God. I got two brothers who I just, and one of them I knew was had a bunch of shortcomings. Okay, I mean, um, he, you know, he has extremely amount of shortcomings. Okay, um, and the other one, you know, he's just a little weird. But I never really thought that I would have to see how dumb both of them were. Okay. And now I've been a juror just the, the almost the responsibility of making sure I facilitate, you know, uh, what's going on with my parents. Okay. These two fools, my mother, as y'all know, is 84 years old. She's had pneumonia twice. Okay. And these fools, one of them is in his 60s and one of them is in his 50s, older young, older men. Um, and they wanted to take her out to the restaurant and to go walk in the mall. Because the government said it's okay. Now, I have to deal with and most of us do. So if anybody else is in my situation, I want y'all to go ahead and leave the comments below, please. Because see, in the black community, and I know and I don't want to talk about nobody else because I don't know nothing about them and how they live. I'm talking about us. We got so many damn people in our family that are so damn retarded. And I know that's not an appropriate word to use anymore, but I don't give a damn right now. Okay, because I ain't even tripping on that shit. What I'm tripping on is we got so many people in our community, in our families, that are so hard-headed, hard stiff-necked, and rebellious, and don't even use common sense, don't even think about what they're doing for the benefit of that person or if they're doing it for the benefit of themselves. They can't even make the distinction. Okay? Because these fools actually had a nerve to sit there and argue with me and tell me that, um, well, um, we think that, you know, she needs to go and she needs to go out and get out because um, the government said it's okay. And they sprayed down real good. And I'm just looking at these fools. I'm just looking at them like, oh, what? Please help me. Not only does she really not feel like going, okay, she's, you know, that wasn't part of the issue. Part of the issue is whether she feels like going or not, why wouldn't you guys be enough proactive or know enough about this virus to know that if you can't sit up here with your mother or um, and take her maybe to a park maybe and have lunch or sit here and have breakfast with her... The park is really pushing it. Okay? But if you're going to say they lifted the quarantine, I'm going to even give you that. But do you know these two old people were so stupid 
that it wasn't until I had to call another brother of mine who was older that said, what the hell is wrong with y'all? Y'all going to actually take an old lady out? And uh, so now I'm looking at the news today and I'm seeing all this spike of coronavirus. See, they don't even know enough to even understand that because I have one who says that he, he can't stand it because you know, all he does is just walk around. He likes to go to the festivals. He likes to go to everything, and which is really good. No knock on that. But I really saw how messed up he really was because if he can't do those things, his life is totally empty. He can't even entertain himself at all. And I realized that. So I said to myself, you really messed up. That you're so stupid. You... For some of us, this coronavirus, and don't get me wrong, and I know that a lot of people are just antsy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But there are a lot of us that are taking this time to regroup. For to me, I ain't even tripping. I mean, some days I be thinking, you know, I really would like to go. But I ain't in no hurry. I'm not in no hurry to go out to no more. I'm not, because that's not how I am anyway. So I've learned how to, uh, you know, be comfortable with myself. And I be around people all the time. And I might be of the crowd, but not in the crowd. So that's always been my mantra. So this ain't never hurt. This is not hurting me. But the fact of the matter is these fools were going to take their elderly, elderly mother who is so susceptible to get the coronavirus that these fools are not feeling that this is for their benefit and not hers. Because if it was for her benefit, don't you think that they would have thought about any kind of health issues that she might have possibly had? And these are the kind of this is the kind of stuff that I have to deal with. And I know I'm not the only one that you're trying to maintain. If you have a certain amount of large family, um, you got to deal with their idiosyncrasies and what they feel is appropriate or what they feel. Well, why don't we do this? And if you know that they're not wrapped too tight, <laughs> you're going to have to get into a situation where you either emotionally or physically got to deal with these people. And this is what we deal with all the time. Okay? Because most of our families are not... Um, where they should be. they just not. I ain't even talking, like I said again, I'm not talking about the other society. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about us. Because we equate everything on the emotional level. We're not looking at any, a lot of us don't look at a lot of things on an intellectual level, on a um, realistic level. It's all about what we feel. You know, if we, well, I feel like we shouldn't do that. Well, we feel this. Okay, feeling is good. It is very good. It has its place. But you can't just say what you feel and did not and negate what the facts are, what the circumstances and the environment and all those things are. Now, if you want to do it with your life, that's fine. But why would you even think to do it with somebody else's and then call yourself a caretaker? Call yourself um, somebody that is... Um, conscious of this coronavirus and then to add insult to injury to put so much faith in this corrupt government that's the part that really took me for a loop is so i've had a rough day as y'all can see this guy tells me um that uh this is my brother right over me so it's the brother over me and the brother under me but i got a brother that's over all of it. And it wasn't until I called him and said, listen, would you please help me deal with these knuckleheads? Because not only am I wired different, I'm wired where I'm at the point where I just can't even, I'm at the point where I don't even want to talk to them because it's like I took myself and put myself in um, a nut house. Not this proverbial internet mental house. I'm talking about a straight up um, mental health for real and I'm sitting up here trying to talk to some people about you shouldn't take your 87 year old, 84 year old mother out with coronavirus it, into the corona uh, atmosphere she's still elderly now, I can't even believe that you should have to convince somebody of something so that that if you were looking and reading and, and participating in life you would know this 
So anyway, it did turn out okay. Um, after I called my older brother, I told him I couldn't take it. I had one that was just trying to play word games with me. Uh, whack a mole. Well, what if we go here? Well, what if you go there? Well, what if you go there? And it said, uh, and every time you go, and I was just like, look, I don't have time for this. I really don't. You guys are making this extremely difficult. And so, whatever my older brother said to him, said, okay, good. You guys want to kill her now. Make sure you have the blood on your hands when you walk out here. And then they say she has coronavirus. Excuse me. If anything, if anything should happen, make sure you know the blood is on your hands. Okay? And we're going we gonna to deal with that accordingly. That's how we're going to look at that. That you guys killed her. Okay, and that was the only thing that got these two individuals to even have some kind of common sense to even think about that you wouldn't take an 84 year old woman out to a restaurant and to um, somewhere else they were going to take her shopping. Okay. I already told y'all last summer they took her out on 107 degrees, 198, the 100 index was 107, and she fell out. They took her. These guys are so retarded. I hate to use that word, and I, you know, so for those of y'all that I'm, I'm insulting, I want to be conscious that I don't mean to say it. I'm just from that generation, okay? I don't mean no disrespect. But these guys are so damn crazy. They already took her out. Um into the uh, sun and she fell out no hat no whether she had a hat or not she shouldn't have been in the heat index to, that where she would faint and she possibly could have died and you know what they said well we we, 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 we you know we thought it was okay because you know we had some water they had no factor about her age no factor about it's just that because they wanted to go somewhere they wanted to do it, and they're not understanding this and i want y'all and i'm gonna shut this down you know because i know i'm going on and on think about in your family when you talk to somebody do a favor for me think about if if this conversation is in the best interest of that person or if it's in the best interest of your ass i mean you know you, uh, you get what i'm saying or or they but you know what I'm saying? And I'm sorry, not y'all. When you're talking to a person and, they, and you're dealing with this, whatever it is, listen to them and find out if what they're disagreeing with you about or even agreeing with, if it's in the best interest of the person that y'all both are supposed to be serving or if it's in the best interest of them or you, you know, whatever. And you won't find out. Nine out of ten times, that's how we communicate. Most of us think we're doing something for somebody else. And we're really doing it for ourselves. Our own. The, the younger brother I was telling you about, he's the kind of person that will say, and that's why I said this is just so crazy. He He's the kind of brother that come and say, oh, happy Mother's Day while my mother is at home. You know, This is, this is what he would do. And then when if she would go to church, he will wait till she get to church and then come show up in church with two dozens of roses so everybody in church can see his alms and see what he's done. Because really, it's not about her. It's about him. And this is the kind of situation that I'm saying is dysfunctional. And Lord have mercy. I'll be trying to go, you know, here and keep my sanity. Um, It's like. In, in you know in in this force of, of madness, right? Because every you know that's that's just, you can only pray that you find a little bit of light, and you try to cling to it when you circulate it by so much dysfunction. You know, so I had to share that with y'all today. You know, and I wanted y'all to hear it. That's what it is, and that's what it was raw. So if y'all got any comments, please leave them. If you've been in this kind of situation before, whatever the family situation was, and you got people in your house that are trying or trying to make decisions that you know haven't been thought out, haven't been vetted at any, you know, 
Y'all get it. Let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thanks. Oh. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.